Joey Here's Bruce. Joey. Here's Joey. Oh, it's really nothing, Julia. I just rolled Fred Astaire. Oh. <laughs> Let's shout. travel with 
And you want to travel blind And you think you may trust her Or she's touched your perfect body Jesus was a sailor When he walked upon the water a long time watching from a lonely wooden tower and when he knew for certain only drowning men could see him he said all men shall be sailors then until the sea shall free them but he himself was broken before the sky opened, forsaken, almost human, he sank beneath your wisdom like a stone. And you are to travel with him, and you are to travel blind. And you think you may be trusted Or he's touched your perfect body With his mind Suzanne takes your hand And she leads you to the river She's wearing rags and feathers From Salvation Army Calvary positive you'll see Santa Claus playing a mean guitar. Oh, that's my friend Savuka. Savuka? Right. He's part elf, part lovely person, and part incredible musician. Savuka, come here. I'd like you to meet Miss Julie Andrews. Julie, this is Savuka. Savuka speaks many languages. Yes? Yes, but mostly he speaks with his music. Take a wing, go to hear him play. Such a beautiful treat, especially when he plays with a calypso beat. Ah, yeah, I like this very Oh, 
heat lightly touch down. Thank <laughs> you. 
and you went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and you came tumbling after. You know, I could have been a major league pitcher. Mm -hmm. I could have. Oh, I mean, I had a curve, no. I had a fastball, I had a change of pace. I was great. I mean, I didn't have control and I was a little wild, but, but I could have overcome that with time. Nobody gave us any time. Nobody. But I still would have given my right arm to have been a major league pitch. Have you ever been to Iceland? No. No. Iceland, no. Mm. But I had a cousin who was. Oh? Yeah, he said it was very cold there. I would imagine. The thing I don't understand is why would a person go there if they didn't have to? Oh, he, he had to go. Oh, he did. He was an oleum salesman. Oh. And that was on his route. Oh, he had a lousy route. Oh, Ellen. What ever happened to linoleum? <laughs> the government outlawed it. Cool. No, really. They found out that it was habit for me. And from linoleum, you went to tile. Oh, oh and, and that was even a big one. From tile. Mmm. Went right to Formica. You don't think I believe that, do you? Huh? No. But you know something? I don't know what you believe. I mean, I, I mean, you, you believe like fairy tales and happy endings and all that silly listen, girl stuff. Listen, we're not going to argue again, are we? Because if we are, I'm going to move. Oh, uh -huh. where to? Um, do you think I'm too tall for a girl? No. no I went with a girl much taller than you. She was about ten feet tall, as big as Will Chamberlain. Oh, oh, that's a fib. No, 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 really. Oh. <laughs> You're very perceptive. Yeah. Red. White. <laughs> the thing I miss most are the movies. You know, when I was little, I'd sit in the movies all afternoon, and I'd laugh and laugh and laugh. Yeah. That's what I miss. I miss laughter. There just isn't, isn't enough laughter in the world anymore. There isn't any. None. You know, we have to do something about that. <laughs> Thanks. That was kind. It will be summer soon. Perhaps. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spend the summer on Fire Island, and I'm going to do nothing but lie on the beach and gaze at the clouds. And I'm going to maybe read a book or two. And then if I feel like it, but only if I feel like it, I'm going to bury myself in the sand up to here, and I'm going to recite the alphabet. Mm -hmm. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I did not ask you. Oh, did not. I did. Did not. I did. Did not. I did. Listen, I don't want to argue anymore. I hate arguments. I really do. Not any more than I do. Oh, yes, I do. I doubt it. And listen, I'm telling you, if there's one thing I cannot stand, it is an argument. You love to argue. No, I hate it. You love it. I hate it. Then why are you yelling? Because you hate it when I yell. You hate it when I yell. You know, I wonder why I even bother sitting here with you. You don't appreciate me. It's silly. Just silly. Every day the same thing, day in, day out. And every day you just sit right there pretending, playing them silly girl games. I don't know why I waste my time with you. Well, don't. Don't waste your time with me. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care if I ever see you again. Hmm? Well, I feel exactly the same way. You'd better find your own park bench, you know that? Because I'm going to tell you something. I wouldn't talk to you again. I wouldn't sit with you. I wouldn't be seen with you if you were the very last person on this... Forgot, right?
two. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Would we appreciate? Uh, five. Six. Free society cannot help the many who are poor. It cannot save the few who are rich. The most consistent thing about Gemini is his inconsistency. One minute he's Guy Lombardo, bringing you the sweetest music this side of heaven, and the next minute he's bringing you the sweetest screams this side of hell, like Vincent Price. Good evening. Boo hoo. You got me crying for you. And as I sit here and sigh, says I, I can't believe it's true. Boo hoo. I'll tell my mama on you. Someday you'll feel like I do. And you'll be boo hooing too. My name is Vincent Price, doctor of psychology, and I'm ever so spooky and I'll frighten you to death. I really will. Boo. <laughs> Physically, Geminis are said to be slender and elegant, like the uh, Duchess of Windsor and the Duke of Edinburgh, and you can hear all that class in their music, like our own Gemini, Nelson Riddle. Yeah! And that very classy Gemini, Peggy Lee.
Anyone born under the sign of Gemini is very, very impatient. Some people never answer the phone. They make me sick. Alice, where are the Andersons? They're supposed to be here for dinner at seven. It's only one minute after seven. <laughs> there they are now. Don't answer it. Fuck. They're late. Can't do that, Harry. We've got to let them in. Well, never mind all that. Now listen, when is Christmas? Christmas is in about three weeks. Three weeks? Well, I can't wait. Here's a present now. Why, thank you, Harry. Well, hurry up. Will you open it? No, we haven't got all night. Open it. Hurry up. And open it. There's nothing in here. I know. The sales girl was too strong. <laughs> Harry, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> when? When are you going to kill me? When are you going to kill me? Geminis have a great gift of words. You see it in writers like Ralph Waldo Emerson. You hear it in actors like Lord Laurence Olivier. And you can sing those rich, marvelous words in their songs, particularly the songs of Gemini, Bob Dylan. <laughs> Brings us to Gemini Beatrice Lily. Gemini's tend to be perfectionists. 
and will lay out their plans far in advance. Your Honor, I stand before this court a bereaved widow that the state could think for even one brief moment that I was in any way responsible for the sudden and tragic death of my late husband, Wilbur, is an outrage and an assault upon my character, which is without blemish, as anyone in this town will testify. No one felt worse than I did when my poor, poor husband was caught between my car and the garage door. <laughs> His screams will echo in my mind forever. <laughs> Had I only seen him in the gathering darkness, things would have been different. And I wouldn't be standing here, throwing myself on the mercy of the court. Hi, hon. Home from work. What you doing? Oh, just... Rehearsing, dear. Did I tell you before that the sign of Jim and I is the twins? Well, they are. And it is. Anyway, Jim and I have an affinity for classic literature. Even John Wayne quotes Shakespeare. Well, tubby or not tubby? <laughs> That's about the size of it. Whether it is nobler and mine to suffer the slings and arrows of a righteous fortune, or to saddle up and get the H out of you. Don't go at me! I didn't write this junk. At the center of Gemini is togetherness. The Beatles had togetherness, and one Beatle was a Gemini. And he got it all together. Paul McCartney. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go, I'm afraid. Harry, thank you very much for being with us tonight. Good night, Julie. Good night. Good night, everyone. For the Julie Andrews Hour, this is Dick Tufel. Stay tuned now for Perry Mason next on Channel 3. Local news, sports, and weather tonight at 11. Owen Marshall tackles an emotionally charged case as he defends a man accused of causing the death of his abnormal infant son. On Owen Marshall, tomorrow on ABC.